Hi guys, Wes here from Green Mountain Armory. Just have a real quick video for you tonight about doing a slug select on a Mossberg shotgun. So a slug select is when you have the shotgun loaded with buckshot or some other type of ammunition and you've decided that you need to change over to a slug to make maybe a more precision or long range shot. Before we start, I just want to let you know that the shotgun is unloaded. There's nothing in the tube or in the chamber and all the rounds that I have available to me on the shotgun and on my belt are dummy rounds. So one of the reasons I'm making this video is to highlight the differences between doing a slug select in a Remington shotgun and in a Mossberg shotgun. On a Remington shotgun, if you had one in the chamber and, and the tube was loaded up with buckshot and you wanted to do a slug select, you could just press the slide release, back the pump back halfway, you could re-engage the shell that's trying to be coming out of the tube and feeding into the gun. Then you could kick out the shell that was in the chamber drop in a slug, chamber it, and you're ready to go. On a Mossberg, that won't work. So like I said, it's a little bit different on a Mossberg. If we can set this up with one in the chamber and one in the tube, and we try to hit the slide release and put the pump halfway back like, on a, like you would on a Remington, the cartridge interrupter and cartridge stop have already engaged with the shell in the tube and you can't do anything with it. So the only option, as it would have seemed at this point, is to eject the round that was in the chamber and then kind of surf out the round that had come out of the tube and was trying to feed. But as you see that's not ideal because you lose two rounds instead of just losing one like you would on a Remington 870. So there is a way to do a slug select on a Mossberg that gets you the same net result as if you had done it on an 870 where you only lose that one round that was in the chamber. Let's set this up real quick. Put a round in the chamber, load up the tube, and then we'll pretend that these rounds that are in my belt is the slug that I'm going to put into the chamber. So what we do is we hit the slide release, just break the action open. Then we engage the round that's in the tube with our thumb and we hold it in. We're pushing it past the cartridge stop and cartridge interrupter so they can't interact with it. Rack the pump all the way back. It will eject the round that was in the chamber and it left the one in the tube, however many there were, just leave them alone. At that point, you can take your slug, drop it in, and make that precise long distance shot that you need to. That's it. So to set this up, hit the slide release, chamber around, feed around into the tube. To perform the slug select drill, you hit the slide release, break the action open, engage the round that's in the magazine tube with your thumb, rack the pump all the way back, It'll eject the round that's in the chamber. You can drop your slug in and chamber it. You're good to go. So here's more of a full speed version of how the drill should go. That's it.